Hello and welcome to my channel, This Mama's Faith. It is my prayer today that after you watch this video, you leave feeling inspired by God's word and motivated to serve others. My name is Tabitha Kelly. I am a wife of 10 years, a homeschool mama to six, a joyful homemaker, a lover of coffee and dresses, but most of all, a daughter of Christ. Today I am taking you along while I do some homemaking and share with you what God has laid on my heart this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing. Today I have some homemaking to do around my home, and while I work and talk to you today, I hope this motivates you to get something done in your home. If you're feeling uninspired or unmotivated, why don't you get up and do some of these things with me? The length of this video is perfect for you to wash a sink full of dishes, fold a basket of laundry, or get yourself freshened up for the day. If nothing else, make your bed and listen to what God is telling you through this video. This week is the introduction to a new series on my channel where we're going to deep dive into Proverbs 31 and what it means to be a Proverbs 31 woman. Each week we will talk about the attributes of the Proverbs 31 woman and explore the virtues of her and how we can grow in our walk as Christian women with what we learn from her. As an introduction to this series, I'd like to read you the poem on the women of worth. Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. I am reading from the New American Standard Revised Edition. Who could find a woman of worth? Far beyond jewels is her value. Her husband trusts her judgment. He does not lack income. She brings him profit, not loss, all the days of her life. She seeks out wool and flax and weaves with skillful hands. Like a merchant fleet, she secures her provisions from afar. She rises while it is still night and distributes food to her household, a portion to her maidservants. She picks out a field and acquires it. From her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength. She exerts her arms with vigor. She enjoys the profit from her dealings. Her lamp is never extinguished at night. She puts her hands to the distaff, and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor, and extends her arms to the needy. She is not concerned for her household when it snows. All her charges are doubly clothed. She makes her own coverlets. Fine linen and purple are her clothing. Her husband is prominent at the city gates, as he sits with the elders of the land. She makes garments and sells them and stocks the merchants with belts. She is clothed with strength and dignity and laughs at the days to come. She opens her mouth in wisdom. Kindly instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband, too, praises her. Many are the women of proven worth, but you have excelled them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Acclaim her for the work of her hands and let her deeds praise her at the city gates. What about Proverbs 31 sticks out to you? What do you think God is calling you to do in your life? This chapter of Proverbs describes a godly, virtuous woman who commands respect and who any man would love to have as a wife. But who is she? The Proverbs 31 woman is certainly no pushover. She makes plans and executes them with her family's best interest in mind. She is a woman of excellent character. She's up before sunrise, ensuring her family has plenty of food, she recognizes that she's been blessed. She does not eat the bread of idleness. She's trustworthy to her husband and others, and everyone knows she honors her word. 
and goes out of her way to help others. The Bible offers us many role models to learn from and to emulate. Of course, obviously, the most ultimate role model is Christ himself, and we should behave as he would. But as a Christian woman, we can learn a lot from the Proverbs 31 woman. Above all, she is a woman who fears the Lord. And in case you didn't know, she's actually not a real woman. She doesn't exist and likely never has. No one could keep up with the level of work this lady puts in. But this chapter gives us a list of praiseworthy characteristics for us all to strive towards in our everyday lives as homemakers. As we study Proverbs 31 together, let's use what we learn to mold ourselves into hardworking, godly women of strength and dignity. When you think of biblical womanhood, when you think of a godly woman from scripture, most of us will turn our minds to the Proverbs 31 woman. She seems to have it all. She's got it all together. She does a crazy amount of work each day. She works from sunup to sundown and is never lazy. Her husband, her children, they call her blessed. Her husband cherishes her like a treasure or a rare jewel. She seems just like the perfect woman. And sometimes it can be discouraging to think about her. It's easy to try to measure ourselves up against her. And when we do that, we see ourselves as a failure. It's so easy to get discouraged by the Proverbs 31 woman or overwhelmed. But we have to remember that everything in God's word is profitable. It teaches us, it trains us, and it corrects us. And when God shows us what an excellent woman is, it's important that we try to understand her story. I hope that this series will help you to learn from the Proverbs 31 woman rather than get discouraged by her. I hope if you take anything from this series, first and foremost, and primarily, and maybe the only thing you take, is to live a God-centered life. The Proverbs 31 woman can do it all because she fears the Lord. She is the epitome of a wise woman, and we know that you become wise by putting God first in your life. She can encourage us to keep Christ at the center of our lives because at the end of the day, with all the Proverbs 31 woman does and accomplishes, her biggest accomplishment is her relationship with the Lord. Becoming more like the Proverbs 31 woman will never make us righteous. But by the grace of God, through the work of His Spirit, we are able to become more and more like her. A wise person lives for God and His glory. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Proverbs 31, 30.